Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. What a gorgeous day out in the big blue, this big ocean. We are back out here, hoping to get some mackerel action and also drift for halibut as well. So I got some really good sized mackerel last time. I didn't get too many. I think I got eight of them total. But four of them were huge. And uh, also if I get some Jacksville, I'll be sending it down uh, for halibut as well. So we'll see, we'll see. The condition is really good. The swell wise is flat. It's three feet swell every eight seconds. So you're barely gonna see any bumps uh, the wind is a little breezy not too bad at all under 10 miles per hour so I'm using a speaky and uh, doing a slow troll trying to get some mackerel so we are out here with uh, my buddy Paul Richard cousin Sang also my buddy Kurt is out here with us we are all going for mackerels and halibut so mackerels are actually, I think, one of the uh, underrated fish. A lot of people just use them for bait. Um, I do too. Uh, I use them for lobster bait. As uh, from my experience, for lobster, mackerel makes really good bait, and also salmon. But as you know, salmon are pricey. I don't want to spend money. I don't even want to spend money on mackerel, buying mackerel for bait. I generally like to catch my own bait. So every winter, I go out to the bay, try to get some herring. A limit of herring, which is two buckets uh, that usually last me the whole year for fishing, whether I'm going for halibut, salmon, or linka. So I try to do that every winter. And uh, last year was a success. So I got a lot of bait at home still. But sometimes I like to use live bait. And uh, one of my favorite live bait is uh, jack smell. Jack smell is pretty much trash eating, but really good for bait. They're really hardy. They stay alive for a long time. However, like I said, I like to save my mackerel for lobster and I like to eat mackerel. So when it comes to eating fish, I'm really, really picky. I don't like fishy fish at all. Mackerels are fishy. However, they got this distinct uh, flavor to it. Uh, which makes it really good. So if I catch enough mackerel, I'll make a video on a Korean dish with mackerel. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we are getting pretty close to the halibut fishing ground. So I'm gonna rig up for halibut. Fish on! Fish on! What is it? What is it? Uh, it's a good size jack smell. Huge jack smell actually. Look at that. This is uh, more than a 12 inches. Oh, this is gonna be macro. Fighting hard. Pulling hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like a tuna. Yeah, that's the macro. Oh, it's a Pacific macro. Look at that. They're pretty color. Nice. So, usually, you'll know if it's a macro right away because they fight so good. Okay, I got this jack smell, which is more than 12 inches. A huge one. I'm gonna send this guy down and try to get a big butt. Big butt. Oh yeah. This feels like a jack smell. Yep. Another big one. These will actually make really good link up bait as well. 
James and Damon. Are you here? Hey, uh, David, this is uh, Ernest. Uh, James doesn't have a radio today. You can call him. Oh, hey, Ernest. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, man, I can't believe you're out here. Mackerel. Spanish mackerel this time. Carlos, we cut him. What cut him? Something's landed. Something's landed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it came off, came off, came off! No! Oh, man. Oh, it's fighting good. Feels like a tuna. I have more than one. Yeah. Two. Two mackerel. Oh, I lost one. Oh, big mackerel. Spanish mackerel, big one. Nice. Another mackerel. Oh, I got three. Link out. Come on. Come on, be a Hallie. Be a big foot. Be a big butt. Be a big butt. Uh, fighting like a link out. But I was wrong last time though. So we'll see. It's a decent size, not too big. Yeah, 
feel the death roll. Come on, come on. Let it be a butt, let it be a butt. Let it be a butt. Come on, butt. It's almost here, I'm on my mono. It's a butt. It's a butt, yes. Yes, it's a butt. I hit it at the wrong angle. The wrong angle. The wrong angle. Went halfway down. I gotta take my time gaffing. I always try to gaff so early and then I miss it. Gotta make sure hook is pointing the right way. Got him. Got him! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. I got him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Man, the first one that I lost, that was a big one. But it's okay. I got this guy. Cannot complain. Whew. But 35, let's give it a measure. I'm gonna bleed this guy real quick. And give it a measure. I'm just gonna rip out his gill. about 35 I have to measure it though yep 35 on the top I got something on pretty light Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. It's not that big. I think this one is a link on. Yeah. Yep. 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 It's a link on. For sure this time. <laughs> For sure. For sure. It was death rolling. All over the place. What is it? What is it? Come on, but feels light. Link hot, I think. Yeah, another link hot. Another link hot. He was just hitchhiking. It was a great day on the water. Cut 15 mackerels, three link hot that was released and one 35 inch big buck. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Go outside and enjoy the outdoors.